good morning students today's topic is edge reduction segmentation and texture based segmentation so what are all the operators available in edge reduction and what are all the algorithms we are used to segment the images and what is texture what are all the approaches we are used to analyze the texture and the texture segmentation so these are all the contents we are going to cover today in my presentation types of edges there are four kinds of edges and what are all the steps we are using in detecting the edges and methods for edge detection there are two kinds of uh, order derivative methods first order derivative and the second order derivative methods in first order derivative there are three different operators in second order derivative methods there are three different operators and what are all the segmentation techniques available what are all the clustering approaches thresholding based uh, segmentation technique and the color image segmentation and what is texture and what is texture segmentation so what is edge area of significant change in the image intensity or contrast locating the areas with a strong intensity contrast in the image we see the edges the strong variation in the intensity we are going to mark those edges extracting information about the image is called edges using the edge detection we can find the object we can able to locate the shape size and also we can apply some sharpening filter and enhancement filter after the edge, uh, edge enhancement to make the edge more visible so there are four different types of edges step edge ramp edge line edge and roof edge step edge in the sense sudden transition in intensity or gray level that is shown in the image the x axis and the g shows the y axis in the roof edges the transition which goes slightly varying and it reaches the peaks afterwards it goes down in line edges in particular line the edge going to change that is the contrast or a gray level of an image going to change in a particular line then noise in the sense that is also called as ramp edge that is a, a noisy edge which combines with the noise so it may vary anywhere so the intensity or gray level of an image can change anywhere so what are all the steps involved in edge reduction there are four steps filtering enhancement detection and localization so what is filtering we are going to filter the image to improve performance of the edge detector with the noise enhancement i am going to emphasize the pictures having significant change in local intensity and i am detecting the edges by using some thresholding techniques so what we have going to see is what is thresholding in segmentation so when i am coming for segmentation i will explain that concept then localization what is localization we are going to detect we are going to locate that edges so locating the edges accurately and estimating the edges so noisy image example for noisy image this is the original image the first image shows original image the second one shows the salt and pepper noise the image with salt and pepper pepper noise so what are all the methods we are using for detecting the edges there are first order derivative which is also called as gradient method there are three operators robert operator sobel pivot operator in second order derivative there are three operators laplacian laplacian of gaussian and a difference of gaussian but in our syllabus that covers only robert operator sobel pivot and laplacian so what is first order derivative at the point of greatest slope the first order derivative has maximum value for a continuous one dimensional function f of t we are having some maximum value f of t contain maximum value that is my first order derivative so basic edge reduction by using first order derivative we are going to use the delta f function we are going to find gradient function so do f by do x divided by do f by do y i am going to find the magnitude of the del f function that is using the formula square root of gx square plus gy square i am going to find the direction of delta f function by using the formula alpha xy is equal to tan inverse of gx by gy okay detecting the edges by finding using this formula next edge normal i want to find the edge normal by using that formula gradient function the same function we are going to use for edge unit normal function i am going to use del f and mag del f function so 
we can use magnitude approximated with the help of uh, this formula max del f equal to maximum of i am going to find maximum from the do f by do x and do f by do y by calculating the mod function so the overall what is gradient function so gradient equation what is gradient equation do f by do x do f by do y so uh, what i am when i am representing the vertical edges do f by do x and the vertical direction will be zero when i am using horizontal the x axis will be zero so del f value is equal to 0 comma do f by do y when i am using two functions that is horizontal axis and vertical axis uh, the del f value is do f by do x do f by do y Okay, the same thing, the formula we are using for direct gradient direction and edge strength. So, in two-dimensional function, how we are going to find the gradient function? So, we are using the gradient function, we are going to define the mask, convolution mask. I am going to use the mask, mask which is 3 cross 3 mask or 2 cross 2 mask or 1 cross 2 marks. We can choose as per our wish. In the before techniques, but in our first order gradient, there are some default masks. We are just going to use the mask without any changes, and we are going to find the gradient, gradient unit normal, all the functions. So here g of x is minus 1, 1. I am going to convert into 2 cross 2. So minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1. And g y that is 1 minus 1. I am going to convert 1 cross 2 matrix into 2 cross 2 matrix. So 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Okay. So, this is the interpolated points we are going to find. Next method, my first order derivative is also called as gradient method. That is robot operator. G f of i comma j is equal to mod g of x plus mod g of y. So, the formula is mod of f i comma j minus f of i plus 1 comma j plus 1 plus mod of f of i plus 1 comma j i comma j plus 1. So, we are taking the first point in an image that is my i plus next coordinate. So, first coordinate, second coordinate I am going to take. First coordinate is my f of i comma j. Then second coordinate is my i plus 1, j plus 1. So, what is the convolution mask I am going for robot operator? 1, 0, 0 and minus 1. So, for g of y, 0, minus 1, 1, 1 is in zeros. So, this is the example. I am using scaling factor. 5 and I am getting the output like this. This is my and I am using my Robert operator. What is the result? What I am getting? So next one is my Sobel operator. Sobel operator we are going to find the thicker edges. So the convolution mask G of X and G of Y. This is the default mask we are going to use. The difference or calculator at the center pixel of the mask. So this is the result of Sobel operator. When I am using my Sobel operator, so what will the thicker edges I can get just. In Robert operator, there are some few edges I missed that can we can find with the Sobel operator. So this is the example. The top one is the Sobel operator. Second one is the output of Robert operator. We can able to find the difference. In the first Sobel operator, we can able to find the clear edges, all the edges. But in Robert operator, some edges are missing. So next one is my privet operator. So privet operator it is slightly different mask from our Sobel operator. So this is the convolution mask for using uh, my Sobel operator. So I am summarizing in all the things in this slide. Gradient. What is the formula for gradient? The robot operation 2 cross 2 mask. So Sobel operator 3 cross 3 mask. When I am using 5 cross 5 mask what will be the thing? So what, what I am going to achieve is good localization and poor deduction. Here poor localization but good deduction. That is the difference between my robot operator and my Sobel operator. So this is the summary of my first order derivative methods. Simple edge detector of affected by noise. I can able to filter the images and I can able to edge, find the edges with the help of Sobel operator. Robot operator is very sensitive to noise but so Sobel operator is very, uh, I can able to find the edges with the noise also. So second order derivative. So zero crossing of the second derivative of the function indicate the presence of maxima but f of t value is maxima. So that is my second order derivative. So Laplace cn. So here I am going to find the gradient L of x comma y is equal to dou square i by dou x square plus dou square i by dou y square. So this is the convolution mask. We can very susceptible to noise filtering required. We can use LOC. That was next one Laplace of Gaussian. But it is not required. So next robot operator, the summary file, robot operator, privit operator and the Sobel operator. 
so this is prevent operator and solvel operator so next topic is segmentation so grouping together similar pixels partition an image into meaningful region and also we are going to group the pixels with similar needs so next one bottom there are two kinds of process bottom up process and unsupervised process this is the example image segmentation image of human segmentation and the original image and the output so thresholding so what we are going to do is i am going to segment the image into object and the background that is thresholding so i am going to find the image f of x comma y i am going to fix the threshold t value if it is greater than t value i am going to assign the value 1 otherwise 0 this is my thresholding so multiple thresholding i am going to make three threshold i am going to choose two thresholds t1 and t2 so i am going to fix the values f of x comma y is greater than t2 then a then if it is between t1 and t2 that is b then less than t1 that is my c so this is the histogram i am going to choose for simple thresholding and global thresholding i am going to find the threshold value t for simple thresholding t1 t2 for multiple thresholding so role of noise what is the noise so here are the noiseless image 8 bit image the next one with the gaussian noise the third one image with the gaussian noise so how the histogram values different so this is the role of noise while i am using thresholding this is the role of illumination and the reflectance so this is the original image noisy image second one is the intensity ramp so third one is the corresponding histogram for the noisy images. So global thresholding, there are few points. First I am going to find initial global threshold T and afterwards I am going to find G1, G2. I am going to divide into two thresholds. G1 is greater than T, G2 is less than or equal to T. So computing the average intensity value M1 and M2 by using the G1 that is global threshold G1 and G2. With the formula my new threshold is equal to 0.5 into M1 plus M2. So finally I am going to repeat the steps 2 to 4. This is the example noisy fingerprint image how it is segmented with the global thresholding. So segmenting by clustering I am going to group into two pictures two set of pictures cluster I am going to group that pictures. So I am going to input as a set of measurements and output will be set of clusters. So I am going to use the steps like I am going to cluster with the help of uh, x with the what is the original pixel value and minus my mean value. I am going to find the difference and I am going to minimize the mean square error. So this is the image cluster on intensity, cluster on different colors. This is the 11 segment clustered image. This is the color alone. I am going to find using k-means clustering algorithm. So this is the output of 20 segments. So next segmentation topic is region growing. I am going to start from the seed point that is highest intensity picture and I make to grow. Okay, I am going to group the similar pictures. So key is my similarity index. So initially I am going to start with the seed picture and I am going to group the nearby intensity, high intensity pictures. So this is the example for region growing, original image and input image. So this is another example. Here merging, splitting and merging. So I am using quadri approach. I am going to divide the image region. I am going to use the region. I am going to divide the region into four region. R1, R2, R3 and R4. So in R4 I am having some region of interest. So I am going to further divide it into R41, R42, R43 and R44. So this is the result. So here my example shows this is my original image. I am going to split the region into R1, R2, R3 and R4. Afterwards the region of interest I am going to further divide the region. Three regions into further R1, R1, R2, R1, and R4. Afterwards I am going to further split and merge the region of interest. Yeah this is my output two regions I exactly find. So result of my region splitting. So this is my region splitting and merging. Region example another example shows the region splitting and merging. So what is texture? There are different texture in the particular image. I am going to find the different mosaics of this structure with the banking bank of filters. I am going to convolve the images and I am going to find the different textures. So convolution mask I can going to find with the textures map. I am going to find differentiating the clusters. So convolve the image with the bank of filters. 
and textrons final textures will be i can able to identify